Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Blank October here, and welcome to another Blank Speaks. Now, I told myself I wasn't going to talk about uh, the whole emotional slump thing that I'm going through, but I guess that'll make for a better video, and I guess everybody wants to know what's going on. Well, at least the people who actually follow my Twitter and, you know, what have you. Uh, also, we're back by some Destiny gameplay. Hope you don't mind some non-fighting game stuff. But, hey, why not? We're going to mix it up a little bit, right? Anyway, uh, so I know this girl. I'm not going to disclose her name. But I've known this girl for about two and a half years. And, you know, from the start, I actually kind of did have a thing for her. But at the same time, I knew maybe things weren't going to work out. I don't know. I just don't think I, I'm like anybody's type, really. I mean, I don't even know how I had a girlfriend in the first place, but... You see how that worked out. Anyway, um, so I had a thing for her for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it, it was kind of a obvious thing. I mean, everyone and their mother literally knew, you know, what was on my mind. It's all cool. But there was also a time where I wasn't talking to her because, you know, I was like, you know, I don't know if I can just sit here and be this girl's friend um, because I feel so strongly. But then I kind of came back around, um, especially when I got this job at Walmart, and she works at that Walmart. Um, no, that isn't the reason I got the job at this Walmart. I actually didn't even want this job at this Walmart, but hey, they offered me a job, so I took it. So word of advice, I don't care if you don't like the job, take the job, make some money. Because not everybody's going to start out with six figures. I'm barely making three. <laughs> um... So she works at this Walmart, and, you know, I figured, hey, I got a little bit of cash on me. I got a little, you know, little, you know, some good stuff going for me right now. I'm still in school, and I feel like I've kind of grown, I've kind of grown as a person. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe it would help. And... She is a really, really good friend, and, you know, I started to not be selfish, and I started to, you know, chill around her, and, uh, you know, just make sure everything is going well for her. Make sure the odds are ever in her favor. So, comes a time now, pretty much in, during the last couple of weeks, I've been actually trying to take her on a date. Now, either she's been, like, you know, sick or just stressed out or whatever. We wasn't able to do the date, and, you know, that's cool. You know, I totally understand that. She works a lot, and uh, I only work pretty much on certain days because all I do is go to school. Um, so, what am I trying to say here? So, after about... A week during this whole two week period you know I just went ahead and told her pretty much how I felt and uh, I don't know how good of an idea that was but you know she's still my friend and everything but it's crazy is that actually right before that time I told her everything my other friend Joey comes along and basically confesses his love now I like this guy and I haven't hung out with him in a while because he's been working and I've been going to school and you know, all that good stuff. I've been trying to do my thing. And uh, he comes around and basically he's basically trying to push up on my chick. <laughs> I guess you can say that. Um, so not that you know, I'm not liking the guy because he's doing that. And I'm actually going to go over there like tonight and hang out with all of them. Because I seriously haven't hung out with this guy in a while. Um, so it should be cool to see him again, but just the fact that not only is it a, uh, another friend that wants to, you know, kind of go after her, but it's a friend that always knew that I had a thing for her, too. That's the only thing I kind of don't feel like is kosher. I feel like, you know, that's kind of, I don't know, That's kind that, that kind of sucks. But at the same time, it does seem like he has a little more going for him. I mean... He has a higher paying job. He works at a Walmart, a different one, but it's a higher paying job he works at. Oh my God. Uh, he's just started a photography business and his pictures are actually really good. 
And he has a six pack. You know, that means a lot to women. Don't lie to me. <laughs> because I know it does. If your man is packing a keg, and unless you have, like, you know, pretty low standards, or that guy is really just the love of your life, that guy needs to have a flat washboard stomach. That guy needs to look like Channing Tatum. Speaking of, you know, more looks, he's also, uh, I think he's mixed with uh, Puerto Rican and black. So, you know, he's light-skinned. He's got interesting hair. You know, he has everything going for him. You know, he's got more money than me, more everything than me. And to be honest, he's actually a lot funnier than me. You think I'm funny? I just yell at things. That's not comedy. <laughs> uh, but if it's not just him that's going to be causing trouble with this, now this other guy resurfaces she has another friend well this guy actually she used to date this guy a long time ago apparently and uh, he now just got out of uh, training or PT or whatever um, for the Navy so I mean it, it kind of it kind of sucks but at the same time you know she's known him for a long time She's only known me for a couple years, but I still feel like, you know, man, I'm really losing my chance here, and I've been kind of in a slump. I still hang out with everybody, but, you know, it, it really kind of sucks uh, to know that my chance is slowly slipping away. Yeah, my chance is actually just kind of slipping away a little bit, slowly but surely. But, I guess I'll keep trucking. I don't know what to do. Uh, except, you know, just keep trucking, I guess. But, I, I don't know how much uh, I can put into all of this. So, basically, right now, guys, I'm getting bodied. So, if I'm depressed for, like, the next month and a half, you, you kind of know why. How come nobody loves Blank? You know? How come Blank can't love anybody? This is why I'm always an asshole, guys. Stuff like this. Well, that's my life. Thanks for uh, listening to a little bit of my rant or a little bit of my shortcomings. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. Remember, videos daily. I'll see y'all then.